All right, now you have a more advanced way of doing it. So we know, again, the volume of CO2 that we want, but instead of using just this chart right here, I would recommend that you go over to McDentum's website. From here, you can either read about the apps and download the app onto your phone, or you can go ahead and get the Excel spreadsheet. The Excel spreadsheet would do exactly the same calculation. And what it does, it takes into effect also uh, the amount of alcohol that's in the beer because alcohol absorbs CO2 differently than uh, Wirt does. So we'll enable editing. We'll go from the Easy Blend over to Easy PSIG, which is gauge pressure. Put in a 40 degrees at our keyser. We're going to use 100% CO2, no nitrogen in it. We want 2.6 volumes of CO2. Let's say we're at sea level, and the um, alcohol content, let's call it 5, that's fine. It tells us we should have 13 psi at the gauge. You can see here, if we had a 2% alcohol, we would need a lower pressure, and if it was a really high alcohol, like a barley wine, we need a higher, 15. Let's stick with our 5%. We need 13 psi at the gauge. So that is one way of doing it, and then just taking that 13, dividing it into the resistance in your tubing. You find out you need 5.9 feet of tubing to get this balanced out. An even more advanced way of doing it is to go through this worksheet. Let me scroll down there. Worksheet A, I will post it below here so you can use it as well. Here you go. So you just write in the style and the volume that you want and you look at the reference chart that was just the temperature and the pressure and you get a PSI that you should have. So again, it was up to this gauge, or this one right here, 2.6, 40, uh, that is 13.5. All right, so we'll go back down to worksheet A. Here we go. So you write 13.5 here. Then you're gonna add or subtract, or add your elevation if you're not at sea level. So let's say we're at 4,000 feet, we're gonna add two PSI, because it's one PSI for every 2,000 feet. Then you recalculate it, so you come up with 15.5 uh, in this case. Then you're going to add or subtract resistance, because that's, that's the pressure that we're putting onto the beer, and now we need to slow it down to the same, basically zero. And what you do then is, if your keyser is at one level, but you're serving it above, then you're already getting some breaks just by having to push it uphill. If your keyser is on the second floor and you're serving it below, then you got to subtract out because it's going to be flowing faster. Then you choose what kind of pour you want. Are you going to be serving a low carbonated beer? Then yeah, you can go ahead for one gallon a minute. Are you going to be serving a Hefeweizen or a Belgian beer? If you push it out of one gallon a minute, it's going to be way too foamy. So maybe you need to go for a slow dispense on that line. So then you would add seven. If it was a normal pour, you add three. So this would just create a little bit more resistance. You need a longer line, basically. Then it's the type of shank you have. So from the shank that's going into your keyser, you're probably going to have just a straight tube coming out on the back. If you have a tower, there's probably a 90 degree bend. So that creates a lot of resistance. So you have some resistance built in, so therefore you can subtract three. Then you would calculate it all up and then come up with the resistance or the pressure that you really need to slow down. So you started at 13 and a half, you got up to 15 and a half, then you add or subtract it and you come up with a new number. Let's say we need, ended up with 10 PSI here. So that's the amount that we really need to slow down, not the 13 and a half PSI. Then you will go back to your same reference charts and figure out the resistance in your lines. So these are just generic. You have to look at the manufacturer just like I went over here to this one and found 2.2 pounds per foot. You look at the resistance for the, the host that you actually buy, but here are some general ones. So again, you can see it's for polyvinyl 2.2 pounds per square inch. So if we had that 10 PSI we need to slow down, divide by 2.2, we only really need 4.54 feet of uh, tubing. So if we had gone for the longer tubing, 
it would have come out too slow. If you had a, if you were not working with a keyser but a longer run, then you cannot use 316s because you're going to reach uh, the uh, resistance too quickly. So if you need to go, you know, let's say 50 feet and then serve it there, you can see 50 feet uh, with 36 or um, 3 eighths, you would only have, well I can do it in my head, but we can do 50 times 0.1 psi per foot, that's only 5 feet, no 5 psi of resistance by going that far. So then we have another 5 uh, psi and we need to slow down. So we do the 5 divided by the 2.2, if we're going to use the choker at the end. And you figure out, okay, so you use 50 feet of 3 eighths and then you put in 2.27 feet of 3 sixteenths at the end and it should come out at the perfect flow. All right, that is it. Happy calculating.